According to new reports, a new disease called monkeypox is jumping from one country to another. Meow, what's that? Well, monkeypox is not new, but an old virus that has resurfaced. Is it mine? Well, to know what it can do and what not, let us explore more about this condition by answering a buzzing question. What is monkeypox? Zoom in! Monkeypox was first discovered in 1958 when two outbreaks of a pox-like disease emerged in a group of monkeys kept for research. Hence, it was named monkeypox. Later in the 70s, when it started to infect people of Central and Western Africa, scientists found out that it is a zoonotic disease, meaning a disease that transmits from animals to humans. It is caused by a virus belonging to the orthopox virus genus that has an oval-shaped appearance. It also comes from the same family of viruses known to spread smallpox and cowpox. Though they were first found in monkeys, however, these microbes can also be found in other animals, especially rodents. But the vital question is, how do humans get the infection? Well, animal-to-human transmission can occur from direct contact with the blood, bodily fluids or mucosal lesions of infected animals. Also, eating undercooked meat of infected animals can contribute to catching this infection. And once that happens in a couple of weeks or so, the person starts to get flu-like symptoms like fever, chills, muscle pain and headaches, fatigue as well as swollen lymph nodes. Then within one to three days of getting a fever, skin eruptions start to occur and the patient gets fluid-filled bumps, mostly on the face, followed by palms and soles of the feet that could last around two to four weeks before it starts to go away. And if such a person doesn't isolate and comes in contact with others during the infection phase, he or she can spread it amongst others. This could be a possible reason for this disease being found in other countries around the world today. But why? Why has monkeypox re-emerged? Well, researchers are still trying to figure it out. But one possible reason could be the eradication of smallpox from the world. Yes! That's because smallpox was on the rage nearly 40 years ago. So, it was a kind of compulsion to take smallpox vaccines to prevent it. And as smallpox and monkeypox viruses belong to the same family, the vaccines also protected against monkeypox infection. But since the extinction of smallpox, the new generation no longer needs these vaccines. So, this could have given the monkeypox virus another chance to infect unvaccinated people. Now comes the vital part. What can we do to protect ourselves and our loved ones from this monkeypox infection? Fortunately, monkeypox is usually mild and most people recover within a few weeks. But as the infection can spread through close contact and can get severe, it's essential to isolate if someone is suffering from it. And for others, make sure to avoid contact with any materials such as bedding or clothing that have been in contact with a sick human or animal. Practice good hygiene by washing your hands with warm soapy water and make sure to cook your food properly. Trivia time! Did you know human monkeypox was first identified in humans in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in a nine-month-old boy? In 2003, 
47 confirmed and probable cases of monkeypox were reported in six states of the USA due to people coming in touch with imported pet prairie dogs. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Are you ready to go to school, Kitty? Oh, what happened? Kitty, Kitty, I'm so late. Never mind. <laughs>